Happy Thursday, everyone. We're in our new time slot for Geeks Are Sexy. New to me, because this is my first time in the new time slot. If you're a regular watcher every week, you've been watching for a little while with Michelle Davis. But we are now at 2 o'clock on Thursday afternoons. It's great to be here. It's a little easier to get out of the studio and on our way on a Friday afternoon uh, instead of being out here at the busy, busy time on strip traffic. So welcome to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LaDuke from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants, and I'm your host today to talk about all things about how to have a successful business and a successful professional life here in Las Vegas. We're going to jump right into it. My first guest today is Lene Forbes of Forbes Realty Group. She specializes in the sale of new and existing homes in, in Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, and Henderson. And as part of her industry experience, she's had a lot of opportunity to work all the little jobs that go into real estate. So she hasn't always been that real estate agent out in front showing the homes. She's had a lot of experience working what would be what we in the Air Force we call a back shop, the behind the scenes work in real estate. And she, that, that really helps her with her clients. And uh, she likes to arm her clients with an understanding of the market to help them make sound decisions. And that she believes the, the most satisfied client is a client who feels included in the process and that leads to a successful closing for them. Excuse me. I'm having a hard time today. So, <laughs> Lene, thank you for being here. Welcome to Geeks Are Sexy. How are you today? Oh, I'm awesome, it, with the exception of the heat. Yeah, it's uh, so last month I talked about how hot it was. Well, it's even hotter this month. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking about the weather here in Las Vegas because because uh, it, it leads to me talking about how hot it is on the show all the time. So <laughs> so let's jump into what it is you do and how you do it differently than other realtors here in Las Vegas. Tell, tell us about the philosophy you have, your philosophy of helping people buy and sell homes here in Las Vegas, and what's the driving force behind what you do for the people you help? Well, my biggest thing is, is I want to encourage my clients and empower them. Okay, so by the buyer, we empower them to be able to search the internet 24-7. Um, with our sellers, we empower them to be flippers in okay. their own house. Yeah, and that's what I really want to get into in a little <laughs> bit today. That's a, well, and that's, that's exciting. a fun, yeah, that's a fun, exciting part. Um, but when you talked about the backs, the backstory, the backside of everything, so I worked a number of years um, as a notary signing agent, which included working for escrow companies, and mm -hmm. that was a great experience because you get to understand what the escrow companies are looking for, mm -hmm. what the title companies are looking for. So. Often I'm ahead of my um, peers because of that. And then I also processed loans for five years mm -hmm. for a, a, a company here for about three different um, loan officers. So that too was a very enlightening uh, process and I enjoyed it. What, what's something specific you learned from working the back shop, the escrow side of things that helps you help serve your clients? A little better than someone who hasn't done that might. Well, one, I know how to read the settlement sheet. I know how to read the preliminary report, but I also know some of the the, the what's behind what why they ask certain questions of clients. Like you know, if you're married, mm -hmm. and but you're actually buying the property and you're going to be a, a sole and separate. Did you know that even though you're going to be sold and separate on that property, that your spouse still has to sign off and it's not signing off their rights. It's only signing off to ensure the file. Big difference if you're talking to in a divorce attorney because just because you signed that document doesn't mean you lost your rights in the state of Nevada for actually settling with your spouse if you get divorced and that that property is only in their name. So that's hugely important if you are a real estate investor or you're, you're buying a rental property, even if you're putting it in one name for whatever reasons you might be doing that, nefarious or otherwise, um, the, spouse, the spouse still has to sign off on that. Yeah, I am, it's I am very, having a hard time today. And that's the, the biggest reason why is for the, it's for the title company to insure the file. So often people don't realize when you just go file a document with the county, let's say you decide that you want to put it into your trust and you didn't talk to mm -hmm. an attorney and you go sign that document and you send it down to the county and you record it, it is considered an uninsured document. That's one of the things that most agents don't understand. And the great news is, is that when I see something like that, I'm already ahead of it. I'm already asking my seller, hey, by the way, do we know who this person is? Can mm -hmm. we get a hold of them? They're going to have to do an affidavit for the title company because we got to insure this document now. That's one of the things I learned in the Air Force, especially when I was working a staff job at a headquarters in Colorado Springs, is that documentation needs to be really tight. You need to have a really good understanding, not just of what it is you're trying to do, but all the little pieces that, that everyone along the way who's going to have to touch that document needs to see. And it sounds like that's what you've got here is with that back shop experience 
experience, you know all the people who have to touch a document before before it goes into that final file and, and mm -hmm. becomes that public record. And not become a like the you know the ninth hour. Oh, my, everybody's got a race to get it right. done because someone just discovered it. Right. Because I know how to read those documents and I know how to ask the questions, I'm already on it before we right. You don't becomes you, an issue. You, you don't have to ruin somebody's Friday afternoon trying to track that stuff down. So. Yeah. So that's awesome. Well, so you have a unique way of helping homeowners make more money on their sale. And that's really what we want to get to today in the well, show. Today, well, I think the biggest one is to, to talk about is, is that we actually can help our um, sellers get anywhere from seven to 11% more on their um, listing if they get work done that prior to, for example, mm -hmm. just basic things, painting, carpet, um, the last house we did, we replaced all the toilets. The, the kind of the kind of work that just about every home needs to have done if you've been living in it for any length of time. Exactly, or it's been a rental, which has happened often to us. Oh yeah, us. for sure. So I'm closing one tomorrow. We actually got our client 10.3 percent over list. Okay, and so tell us tell us what the tell us what the what our viewers need to know about how you do that for a seller. Well, first of all, we go in and. Um, it's called taking the flip out of real estate. Okay. By the way, I got a call from the um, trademark company, or trademark of the government. The USPTO? And, uh huh. And we are actually on the road to getting that trademark. Outstanding. Congratulations. So I needed to give them two more documents, and I have to do that on Monday. So it's been TM'd. Um, we've also done a show. Yeah, I want to hear about that. Okay, so part of what we do is uh, the introduction is, is showing me the property. Now, one of the things that I think is important is, as an agent, is knowing what's going to sell. What is mm -hmm. a buyer looking for? That I know. Why? Because I work with buyers, too. And what's the biggest complaint I hear from buyers? Oh, I don't want to paint. Even though it's mm -hmm. an inexpensive thing to do, they don't want to deal with it. Right. So, I've talked the seller into doing what we call very basics. We don't do over the top. So, we do the painting. We mm -hmm. do the carpet. Mm -hmm. uh, in the next house I've got, we're going to do linoleum. In the mm -hmm. current house, we did uh, the, the the toilets, mm -hmm. fix the cabinetry, mm -hmm. just little things that make a huge difference. If this house had gone on the market without any of the work, I can tell you right now, they would have gotten beat up on their price, mm -hmm. gotten insulting offers. Mm -hmm. So, so not only do we take the flip out of real estate, we take the insult out of real estate. Yeah, and that's and that's uh, something I know is really stressful for a homeowner when they're trying to sell. Did you know that thirty nine percent of the sellers out there who ha would choose to sell would rather go get the tooth extracted than deal with repairing their house and preparing it for the market. I, I did not know that. And so so the the thing here is is that the sellers don't put the money up front for these repairs, nope. correct? We right. handle all of that. We finance it, we find the vendors, we do mm -hmm. the whole we do the whole ball of wax. As my last client Kim said, you took the stress out of my life. And, and I think that's really the the key to this is the the up the the money in your pocket at the end of the process is nice. But money in your pocket, plus not having to deal with the stress of those insulting offers, those other house flippers trying to come in and get this for for a song and trying to kind of kind of lean you lean you to take in their price, because well it needs this work and this is done and this is scratched and we did right. less than six thousand dollars worth of work to get the seller the ten percent over list. Yeah. And the list price that we usually go with, I actually um, went through a, an appraisal class. And we really work to make sure what is out there, what is an appraiser going to see. And I pull all those comps together, and then I come up with a price. And our price on this particular house was two seventy three eight, because mm -hmm. that's what it worked out that an appraiser so, would see. Right. So that was appraised. You got ten percent above that. And we did. Right. So quick math in public. So twenty seven thousand dollars for. Six thousand dollars that with you work. put in, so that seller walked away with twenty-one thousand dollars more than they would have by not doing the things that were stressing them out. Exactly, and there's the big one: the stress. Yeah. See, so she was out of state on top of that, so there's that stress is gone. So she knows we're closing tomorrow. It's like she's so excited. I'm That's excited. Awesome. That's awesome. So you're putting all this in a TV show. You've shot one episode, yep. but it's not ready to air, and you're not sure where you're going to air yet either. Correct. So, so we're going to have to have you back when you have your premiere. We're going to have you back on this show, okay. even though we'll be small potatoes to you by then. But no. we're going to have you back on this show when your show premieres. But in the meantime, tell our audience how they can get a hold of you so that you can help them take the flip out of real estate. Uh, we actually came up with a, um, a phone number. It's called 213-FLIP-OUT. There's right. a message there how to get a hold of us. 
But the other one is, is ForbesRealityGroup.com. You can okay. find me at, and all of my contact information, LinkedIn, Facebook, mm -hmm. the whole, even our YouTube channel, which is YouTube slash Forbes Realty Group. Yep. So we've got, we're out there. So it's really easy to find us. And of course, we'll all, we'll have all the information, the phone number linked up in our show notes for this as well uh, on my website. So. Thank you for being here today. This was it's exciting. Great Thank to you. have you. We're going to have you back in a little bit for our panel discussion, talking okay. talking a little bit about education and workforce development here in Las Vegas. I'm Jason LaDuke. This is Geeks Are Sexy. We'll be right back with Dr. Thomas Kenny.